All right, guys, this is Matthew Pillmore. I am the president of VIP Financial Education. Mike, I hope we have you on the line right now. I know Jenny's been trying to get a hold of you. So if you can hear me, please make sure that you respond to her. Looks like you've said go. So hopefully you guys can hear me okay. Again, this is Matthew Pillmore. I'm the company known as VIP Financial Education. And I'm excited about tonight sharing this information with the Santa Cruz Real Estate Investor Group and I got to tell you that this is some of the most extraordinary financial information that I've ever seen. And it has made all the difference in the world for my real estate investing uh, initiatives, my goals, and two additional businesses as well. So uh, regardless of your intent, this will help accelerate all of your financial goals, whichever direction you choose to go. Uh, if you do want to get into real estate, this will make all the difference in the world. And this class is known as how to own rentals with no mortgages. It also works with your primary residence as well. So let's go ahead and dive right in. The objectives for this evening, folks, is to first let you know a little bit about VIP. If you haven't heard of us yet, I uh, wanna spend about two minutes just giving you some background. Then we're gonna jump right into how to obtain unlimited capital in order to grow a cash flowing empire. We do that through three steps and these three steps to dominate the banks. Finally, we want to buy more, more real estate and own those properties without loans. So we're going to discuss all the mathematical uh, solutions to these objectives throughout tonight's uh, discussion. A little bit about VIP, if this is the first time you've been introduced, we were actually founded back in 2000. We've been around a long time now of thousands of people every single month and we've become now leading cash flow debt and credit experts we have uh taught in over 25 countries i'm on the road consistently in fact i'm actually spending some time in california on assignment now and uh i'm in the uh, palm desert area this evening and ultimately uh we travel two or three times a week to various cities to share this information with thousands of real estate investors who, who can take this and do with it what we've been able to do over the last. Uh, we do have countless reviews. So I always encourage people to visit uh, Google, just search for VIP financial education and explore what other people have said while using the techniques we're gonna be discussing. I'm gonna help everybody in the room tonight jumpstart their ability to, to uh, benefit from this information and we're gonna do that for free. So uh, because of Mike Young's uh, partnership with VIP, we're gonna give everybody tonight of what's known as the cash flow cruncher. That's what this acronym stands for. And then everybody will also get a personal implementation coaching session. Uh, neither of these is intended to be any type of solicitation. In fact, uh, we operate under a non-solicitous business model. These are directed uh, just for your own personal benefit. The cash flow cruncher will look like this, and we'll actually be referencing this spreadsheet uh, this evening throughout the train. Um, this is a spreadsheet that has unique formulas for real estate investors that I've not seen on any. Uh, and hold on one second, guys. It looks like Jenny is telling me the slides are looking poor. Uh, tell you what, bear with me for about three minutes. I'm going to move locations and see if we can't get a better signal from another part of the office. Bear with me. I'm going to go ahead and mute now and I'll be back in two. All right, everybody, I've moved locations. Hopefully this will work out a little bit better for us. Uh, I've got a better signal in here. 
uh, bear with me as I'm on the road. It's always challenging to, uh, to offer these classes as easily as I can from my home base in Denver but uh, we'll make it through. So this is an image of the cash flow cruncher. We're gonna be going through that spreadsheet throughout the presentation this evening. Uh, just to let you know a little bit about us, we, we've given a lot of these classes. Uh, they're, they're very popular, uh, but not just with real estate investors. In fact, homeowners around the country can benefit from this information because we're able to uh, eliminate all non-mortgage and mortgage related debts. So it doesn't have to be just rentals. It works on primary residences. It works on uh, personal and business related non-mortgage debts too. So companies like NASA through Johnson and Kennedy Space Centers with the Foundation for Financial Wellness are sharing these classes with their employees now. Chicago Title, Colorado Association of Real Estate Investors, CEO Space, Remax, big companies in real estate are recognizing the power of this information and then bringing it to their uh, databases. And tonight you'll see why it's so popular. You can go online, you can read some of these reviews. Here's one from the Chief of Police Jim May uh, uh, gives an excellent um, uh, account of his experience with this information. We do have a Better Business Bureau rating of A+. You can find that under VIP Enterprises. And here's one review that I really like to share. It says, I'm the program director that's been offering the VIP debt-free education to the employees of NASA. We've received wonderful feedback and plan to increase the availability of the curriculum. In one word, awesome. I would strongly recommend this information to anyone. That's Karen Myers. So how do you actually benefit from this? Because we all attend a lot of classes. Education is obviously a very important part. Uh, looks like Mike is saying he needs more volume. Guys, I'm all the way turned up on my microphone. Let me just check and see if there's anything else I can do on this side. Uh, hopefully you have speakers on your end, Mike, where you can turn the volume up on that end. I'm looking to see if we've got anything on this side that'll work better, but I, I don't believe so. I think we're all the way up. Yeah, it looks like we're all the way up on this end, folks. Anything you can do on your side with volume? Well, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and continue. Mike, if you could just go ahead and continue to communicate with Jenny and let her know uh, if things are improving. But as I had said, it's going to be free to all Santa Cruz guests. I mean, we want to make sure that we don't walk out of the room this evening with no plan of action. You want to make sure that you are capable of changing the way you bank when you leave tonight's training. So the first thing that you wanna do is write your questions down. So take a lot of notes because every Santa Cruz real estate investor group guest will be getting a customized second piece to this training, which is a free one-on-one -on -one phone based coaching session. So you can live anywhere in the country and simply pull your smartphone out when you see anything relatable in tonight's class, register at free session calendar.com. Again, that is free session calendar.com. It's first come first serve. We do have a limited supply of these. It's difficult to offer 90 minute coaching sessions to the entire world. And we do have roughly 17 to $20,000, uh, 15 to, uh, I'm sorry, 17 to 20,000 audience members per month coming in online. So make sure you go and take advantage of some of the vacancies that we've put in today for your group. Everybody should take advantage of this with the exception of folks who are not yet cash flowing an average of $500 per month. Now this is over the course of a year, averaged out month to month. So that's $6,000 annually in additional surplus discretionary income. That's what we define as cash flow. The difference between all sources of income. So we take in all, all income, we add it up, we, divide, uh, we subtract that by the all expenses, the aggregate total of expenses, which will leave a sum which is the cash flow position per our definition. As long as you have a mortgage now or plan to get one within the next 18 months, coupled with that average cash flow position or better, you cannot lose with the information we're going to share with you tonight. This will be a, an astonishing training for you. If you're not yet there, the goal is to get there. 
believe me, $500 a month in average positive cash flow isn't a lot of money. It's not much safety. So the goal is always to exceed that anyway. And we can certainly assist even when folks don't have 500 in cash flow. It's just better to wait on the free coaching session. We can delay that and we'll grandfather it to you down the road, uh, being that we've been invited to come in and share this information. So we, we've got that agreement with Mike. Now, it is important that you understand there are certain personality requirements to succeed with this information as well. First of all, are you capable of taking action if you are shown how? You've got to be able to change behavior. You've got to be coachable and you must have courage. You've got to be consistent. You've got to be disciplined and patient in order for this to work. So one last time, freesessioncalendar.com will be the website to visit on your smartphone. Uh, we'll select four of the first eight registered this evening to coach personally. So I will coach those for, uh, I will select four that meet my schedule needs of the first eight that register and I will do that 90 minute session myself. So make sure that you jump on quickly so that uh, you can take advantage of that with me because I always love giving these sessions as well. So let's talk about the three steps you will need to succeed and beat the banks. These are steps we've been using now for 12 years. They have transformed in front of our very eyes, several businesses, including a real estate portfolio, and it all started with this first step of optimization of personal and business credit profiles. Now, we were fortunate enough to study under one of the original creators of the Fair Isaac FICO credit scoring formula. That's the score that 90% of banks rely on to determine if you are a good candidate for a loan, whether it be a mortgage or any non-mortgage type of lending. And because of the relationship that we established, I actually became the youngest certified FICO credit expert in the country at the age of 23. And that was almost 15 years ago, uh, believe it or not. And ultimately we, we became authority figures on the subject of credit. And we were introduced to the pioneers of the industry, which meant that we had this unique skill of leveraging credit and accessing a variety of lending tools, vehicles. And we call those vehicles debt weapons. So the acronym DW stands for debt weapons. Finally, we use those tools, those vehicles, the debt weapons to eliminate liabilities, primarily debt. We eliminate debt in a fraction of the time. You can, you can put literally up to 80% of the interest that you are paying on your mortgages and your non-mortgage debts right back in your pockets. And we're going to show you how to do that. You can use these tools to grow your assets meaning you can buy more property more quickly and we can use these tools in case of emergency. So we're going to stockpile emergency reserves. Now, once we have these three tools and we want, or once we have these tools and we want to accomplish these three goals, we do that with a specific collection of, of techniques. These, these are bank killer techniques as we might call them. The first is what we call lump sum payments. So we're going to use these tools to access OPM, other people's money, we all learn about that through uh, trainings like Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And uh, we take from those tools money that we can leverage and use lump sum payments with. Big chunks of money, whether we want to put money down as a down payment, whether we want to put money into debt, whatever the case may be, we're going to start with lump sum payments and then rely on a technique called paycheck parking. Paycheck parking is where we create uh, an employment opportunity for all of your dollars. Instead of your money sitting in a bank account, useless to you for 21 to 28 days of the month on average, we're going to put the money to work every day. And finally, cash flow stacking. So we're going to show you how to optimize both sides of the balance sheet, not just how do I invest more? How do I get more properties? But how do I actually manage the liability side of the balance sheet also at the same time, thereby creating uh, you know, an, expo an ex exponentially greater cash flow position. So let's start with credit. You probably have great credit or personal credit that you're uh, uh, you're familiar with and, and the scores are established. They are imperative to your success. Let's talk about the goals. The target personal credit score that you need is a 760. This is to avoid any impact to cash flow. So if you don't yet have a 760 personal FICO credit score, then there is work to be done. However, the minimum that's needed in order to start the second step of our three-step process is a 700 and better. So we're going to get everybody to a 700 and better in order to leverage the credit into those new debt weapons. As far as 
business credit. A business credit score is unique. It's really powerful, but even more powerful than the business credit score of 80 and above, it works totally differently than personal credit, is the personal is the business credit profile. Keep in mind the profile is more important than the scores. But business credit for all of you entrepreneurs is one of the single most powerful tools that you can become familiar with. And everyone in the room has access to both personal and business debt weapon vehicles. You just may not know that they exist. So we're going to talk about those tonight. I do want to point out that there are credit maximization solutions that are far more effective than credit repair. So if you don't yet have a 700 minimum, fear not, there are solutions for you. All right. So let's talk about leveraging into these debt weapons. First of all, what the heck is a debt weapon? First and most important question. These are personal and business capital accounts that put your money to work for you nearly every day. So we access substantial amounts of money that we use to grow assets, eliminate liabilities, and have for emergency purposes. We're not using this money irresponsibly. We're not squandering the access of this money on uh, consumer-based products. We're using these tools only to grow our cash flow. And what it does is it allows investors and business owners alike to rapidly improve, number one, cash flow. So we want to drive that number up. Cash flow is the most important number to your ability to create freedom for yourself. Number two, the acquisition pace of assets. If you want to buy more assets, this is the way to do it most quickly. Third, safety in the event of emergencies. While we are accelerating our financial goals, we are not doing so by taking on more risk. We are doing so while mitigating risk and putting ourselves in a safer position. Fourth, debt to income ratios improve. When you have better debt to income ratios, you are a better borrower. When you are a better borrower, you are a better investor. So debt to income is very important. Fifth, total debt load. Your interest costs will be a fraction of what they were otherwise. If you don't think that's important to you, let me remind you that the last truth in lending statement that you signed proved that you would pay exorbitant amounts of interest, even with historic low interest rates. If you think about it, the interest rates have been unbelievable for the last decade and a half. And yet you could sign a truth in lending statement that proves that you'll pay almost as much as in interest costs on a traditional 30 year conventional loan as you borrow. So we wanna flip that amortization schedule upside down and put everyone in the room in a position to keep 75 to 80% of that interest. If you're going to pay originally 200,000 in interest, we want to try and help you keep 150,000 of that. So we're going to show you that tonight. Now I do want to warn everyone in the room that there is a small percentage of attendees in each room that should not use what we teach. These are the people who have had a history of fiscal irresponsibility. If you have not corrected a pattern, of being irresponsible with available money, that is your first step. You should visit someone by the name of Dave Ramsey online. He will talk about basic fundamentals when it comes to budgeting. This is not a budget, folks. If you don't know how to budget already, this information is not yet for you. This is for those who have discretionary income now that want to fast track their goals. So get your financial house in order and then you will benefit from this substantially. It's very important that you all learn about this now so you know it exists regardless of where you are today. So even if you need a little bit of cleanup and a little help with your budget, that's okay. We've all been there. But you want to make sure that you get that done first, try and get it done as quickly as possible, put yourself in a position of safety, and then start to, to tap into these resources and these techniques. All right, so let's talk about the pace with which we access debt weapons. Our goal is to get between 25000 up to $250,000 in total debt weapons every single year. This is every year. We're never done adding more. These are liquid funds. Imagine if you had another $100,000 right now that you could use to grow your business. Obviously, it would be easier to build more assets. Most people are unaware of how we could use that to eliminate debt. 
but I'm going to show you tonight. And obviously, that would increase safety in the event of emergencies. So we're always adding to this collection. We never want to close access to available capital. Now, the tools we're relying on are primarily unsecured, and often the most popular are not credit cards. However, we do rely on really great credit cards for daily spending that we pay off in full every month. And when we do that, we get a lot of rewards. The bank pays us back. So it's a good idea to use credit for everything you've budgeted for. But the point of this slide is to learn there is no such thing as having access to too much money. If you have access to too much money, it means that you aren't responsible with it. Finally, there are four questions that must be answered in order for us to apply for our next debt weapon. The first question we have to answer correctly is, what is it going to be for? We don't pursue a debt weapon that we don't have a purpose for. I like to look at these debt weapons similarly to motor vehicles. So I wouldn't go out and buy a boat if I was trying to take a road trip from the West Coast to the East Coast. And I wouldn't buy an automobile or a motorhome or a snowmobile if I wanted to sail from Florida to Cuba. Having the appropriate vehicle in order to accelerate from physical point A to physical point B is the same as having the right financial vehicle to get from financial point A to point B. So we've got to know what it's for in order to answer the second and third questions, which are, which one do we then get? Which vehicle is right? If I know I need a boat, which boat is right? And who's providing that boat? Who's selling it? Who's dealing with that product? The best thing about these financial vehicles is that most of them cost little to no money. So we have access to them and they can make us a fortune. I have twenty to $50,000 debt weapons that have made us multiple seven figures. And had we never had access to these, we, that would have been an opportunity lost. We never would have made that money. The fourth and final question in this series of questions that we answer before every debt weapon is applied for is when. When do we apply? Because every time we apply for a new debt weapon, a new account, a new loan, a new lending instrument, a tool from the banks in most cases, our credit is hurt. It's, it's, uh, it creates volatility. Now, I had a pretty tough week so far with my exercise routine. Uh, I actually had a fairly intense match of tennis last night along with uh, a bit of a workout. And um, today I'm pretty sore. Now, because I'm sore, does that mean I should not work out, not exercise? Of course not. It just means that it's actually doing the job. When your credit experiences volatility through this process, it's not bad. It means that your credit is being used the way it should be. If you are irresponsible or impatient or over aggressive with the application process for new debt weapons, your credit can be injured. Just like if I were to over exercise and I didn't stretch or I wasn't prepared properly, I could hurt myself. We got to prevent injury and do this safely. So it's a constant balance. Now you've got to change how you think about interest rates in order to get what you need from tonight's class. You've got to change how you think about rates. Most of us have been what I would consider to be brainwashed because if you think about it, you got most of your financial education from your parents and the banks. I can safely conclude that about the vast majority of people in every single room that I share this information with because I know that our school systems are depriving us of the formal financial education that we deserve. Everybody agrees about that. So I know that the source of the information we're getting is generally uh, missing a lot of different detail. <laughs> we can agree. And the, the banks obviously are not going to build their rules to benefit us as consumers. So with that in mind, we have to start realizing that it's not the interest rates that we've uh, that we do care about. We care about the interest costs, the total amount of interest in dollars and cents. And that is not specifically and only related to the interest rate, but we think it is. The most common question I've probably heard while I've been in finance is what's the rate? What's the rate? What's the rate? What's the rate? It's a question that we've all been programmed to ask, but we don't ask what are the terms? If I were to offer you two loans, the exact same other than the rates, and the term, meaning one was a 
5% loan and the other was a 15% loan, I know that everyone would take the 5% loan. But if I then said that the 15% loan was paid off in 10 months or the 5% loan is paid off in 360 months, now which one do you want? Because almost everybody changes their minds. So we know better. Common sense has us educated in that we know that over the long run, we're going to pay a lot more interest. We have to shorten the time frame of our loans. So we want to utilize debt weapons to do that. Again, we're going to walk through right now lump sum payments, paycheck parking, and cash flow stacking once we get access to this $25,000 up to $250,000 every year of available money that we use, pay off, use again, pay off, use again, pay off. And we're going to use those things to accomplish these three techniques. So let me walk you through one of the most exciting things you'll ever see in finance. It's known as free and clear real estate. Now, this is a truth in lending statement. The reason you may not recognize it is that it is from the mortgage professional's viewpoint. This is a software known as Calix Point, which is uh, the tool that most mortgage professionals rely on to, uh, to originate your loans. And this is the only slide that looks this small. So just bear with me. The reason I show, I'm showing you this is this is a, a story that I like to, uh, to tell. Um, this is about a, a couple that we worked with now for many years, um, going back to, boy, it's got to be around 2010, maybe 2011. And uh, it's about Dan and Megan Albright. And the reason I love this story is almost everybody in some way can relate to this. Now, Dan and Megan, uh, Megan showed up to a real estate investment uh, lecture that I was teaching just north of Denver, uh, where I live. And it's funny because I remember taking note of her in the room after I was, uh, after I'd concluded the training. Uh, we usually have a number of people that approach me and want to ask questions and get some more detail. And I just noticed her off on the wing. Uh, it was kind of one of those rooms where it was stadium seating, you know, layered, layered rows and uh, she she was obviously reluctant to approach and and she waited until I was loading my car and it was it, part of the reason I remember this is because it was snowing <laughs> blizzard blizzard like conditions outside and uh, and she came up to me and it was obvious that her money uh, was very very emotional to her like like everybody everybody's money is emotional to them and she felt I could see it in her body language I mean she was hunched over and she looked like she was about to burst into tears she felt like that like her and Dan had dug a hole they would never be able to get out of. Now, I invited her to sit in the car. We talked for a while. She had ultimately filled out a cash flow cruncher spreadsheet. But this was the truth in lending statement three years after that night. So three years later, here we are, Dan and Megan are buying their first home. Now, this happened to be a primary residence, but this works the exact same way on investment properties. Uh, it can allow you to do things without, with little to no money out of pocket, and it allows you to own the real estate free and clear in a fraction of the time. So that's what we're here to show you. Now, in this case, you can see that Dan and Megan with a 5.2% interest rate when it's amortized over that 360 months, 30 years, 5.2%, they would end up paying almost the same amount as what they borrowed, 290,000 in interest costs. Total of $283,000, almost $600,000 for this property. I mean, this is outrageous. There are far better ways of borrowing a mortgage than what the banks want you to think. Paying your mortgage back month in and month out the way you've agreed to, which is what the vast majority of Americans and borrowers do, is not the right way. That is the worst case scenario. So if you are doing that now, you are going to love what you see next. So I've transferred all the information from that Calix point slide to this slide to make it easier to read, you can see the balance here at 5.2%, the interest here. You can see on the right, the debt weapon status three years after we met. Again, I've fast forwarded in time from the night I met Megan and we're now going backwards. We're gonna chronologically reverse ourselves and I'm gonna show you what happened on this mortgage, but this is three years after we met. And at this time, they now had $78,500 in total reserves. So they were averaging a little over $25,000 per year in debt weapon acquisition. This is actually fairly low. We normally see this number higher. Now they were earning at this point 59.50 in total net income, net income being after all withholdings. Uh, this was also after the, the uh, accounting of, of tax liability for Dan who is self-employed. So if you are self-employed, 
uh, then we, we, we want to operate off of average net for the last 12 months. Uh, uh, Megan was W2, so her income was consistent. And we're always using averages because income and expenses generally vary for almost everybody. You can see here they had this new mortgage payment for this balance of $1,600 and 23.25 in average living expenses. So if I take the 59.50 in net income and I subtract the total expenses of 3,925, we can easily calculate the new cash flow position of 2,025. When I say new, this was after three years. When we first met Megan and she was sitting in my car, they had $390 in average cash flow without making any more money and without spending any less money on living expenses or lifestyle, we are able to increase their cash flow almost five times. And we'll come back to that briefly, but this is, this is where they were at this point. Now bear with me, and I wanna tell you, I wanna reassure everybody in the room that while we're gonna go through some mathematics now, which isn't easy to learn, everybody will have access, we'll make sure we coordinate with Mike, I'll have Jenny get in touch with Mike again, and we'll send everybody a link to the replay of this so that you are able to successfully review the information as many times as you want. So try and focus in on this right now to the best of your ability and write your questions down and we'll make sure we get those questions answered when you schedule your free one-on-one -on -one coaching session, okay? Hopefully you're doing that already because I'm about to show you how to save multiple hundreds of thousands of dollars. Now, take a look at this. In this process, the next step once we have a debt weapon that we want to use to eliminate mortgage or non-mortgage debts, we calculate what's called the maximum lump sum, acronym of MLS. This is the amount that we can safely borrow over here. You can see all their balances were zero on their debt weapons. These are credit cards and there are two very special types of unsecured lines of credit here. Uh, one for 20,000, one for 25. So they have access to 78,500 available that's paid off. We want to know the amount we can safely borrow from over here and attack this mortgage debt. And in their case, that was $20,000. And it, for you, your MLS will be different and it will be calculated for you. So here we had a $20,000 lump sum that we could borrow safely, the maximum lump sum from here to apply towards this mortgage. So we took $20,000 from this very special debt weapon. It's completely liquid, it's unsecured, so you do not collateralize it and we attack this mortgage balance of 290,000 with this 20,000. Now, when we pay 20,000 to this using this tool here, this balance reduces to roughly $270,000, okay? Now we have this balance to pay. We don't have less debt. We have the exact same amount of debt. Now, when Dan and Megan earn this income each month, sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less, this is the average. The money generally goes into the bank, okay? The money sits in the bank unemployed. What we're gonna do is put that money to work instead. It's safe for me to assume that of all of you that are watching tonight, not one of you is impressed by the earning potential of your checking and savings accounts. Checking and savings accounts are incredibly common. Almost everybody uses them. We use them blindly. You realize that the Federal Reserve gives permission to banks to lend up to nine times what you deposit. It's called fractional reserve lending. Look it up. It's very interesting. Up to nine times what you deposit can be lent out to other borrowers. So when you deposit $10,000 into the bank over whatever period of time, they're able to lend out $90,000. This is obviously a great deal for the banks, but in exchange, you are earning very little, if anything at all for that. Instead of paycheck parking your income into checking or savings, we're now going to, uh, we're gonna modify that behavior and start paycheck parking against that debt weapon. We wanna use the right debt weapons for the right purpose and we take the income and we park it as one large payment against this debt weapon. At the end of the month or over that 20 to 28 days that the money would normally sit there unemployed, we're gonna put it to work. We're gonna maximize cash flow, reduce the compound interest, compress amortization schedules and maximize credit scores all at the same time and then use the same available tool to pay all the bills at the end of the month. We're gonna pay the mortgages, we're gonna pay the auto loans, we're gonna pay all the credit cards, we're gonna pay all the living expenses, we're gonna pay the tax liens. Any loan, any bill that's there is going to be paid out of that same account and we just repeat this process each month. So watch what happens. 
when they earn this income, we park it against this $20,000, reducing the balance to approximately $14,050. So this $20,000 balance, which was a $25,000 account with only 5,000 available now, because we've used 20, becomes 14,000. So you can see this goes to 14 and the availability goes up to 11. We then pay the living expenses. This includes everything from household utilities to automobile costs to uh, living uh, meals and entertainment, uh, any any uh, discretionary costs of living, etc. But we don't have a mortgage payment on this first month. So we paycheck park in month one, but we don't have another uh, mortgage payment because we've already given $20,000 from this tool to the mortgage. Now in month number two, we're gonna paycheck park again. So the balance has gone up after we paid our living expenses out of this account. And normally we pay all these living expenses with a credit card, and then we pay that credit card in full with this tool. And when we do that, the balance now increases back to about 16,400. So we're now down by about $3,500 in balance, in our debts. Our debts have now reduced in one month by about 3,500. In month number two, they're gonna pay check park again, bringing that balance back down. So they're only paying interest on this balance for the majority of the month. And then at the end of the month, they're gonna pay all of their expenses now. They do have a mortgage payment in month number two. They have to pay all their living expenses again. These are averaged, so some months it'll be more, some months it'll be less. And by the end of that second month, their balance has increased back to roughly 14,350. So after two months, they've paid it down from 20,000 to 14,350. But you will be shocked at the amount of interest that's been prevented on this mortgage with this one lump sum. And I'm gonna show you that here in a moment. So we've got 14,350 left, and we have to calculate about how long it's gonna to take to pay that off. And in this case, it's very easy to figure that out. We don't have to go through each monthly example. We can just take this balance, divide it by the cash flow position, of 2025 because every month 5,950 will be parked against the balance and every month 3925 will be taken out to pay the bills and every month 2025 will remain parked here. So I can divide this by the cash flow to determine roughly how many more months it's going to take to pay back. And you can see that's 7.1 total months. When we add that to the first and second month that we walked through together, you can see that the total is gonna end up being roughly 9.6 after we add in the interest costs for this because this tool comes with interest associated with it. You have to pay the bank interest when you borrow this money. No different than any lending instrument. After 9.6 months, this 20,000 is paid back and we've paid about $1,000 in interest on this tool. But what are we gaining, folks? Well, let's take a look at what's happening here. This is known as the amortization schedule. This is a 30 year amortization uh, some of my close uh, mentors refer to this as the most insidious device ever created by mankind, which means it is built to confuse us. No different than compound interest. This is even a simple interest loan, and yet you pay all this interest in the beginning and all this principal at the end. Now, what did we do in Dan and Megan's case? Here they are in the very beginning of their new mortgage, whether it's a primary residence or an investment property, this works. We took $20,000 from a debt weapon, an instrument, a vehicle that we applied, which took them from here to here instantly. Meaning they paid this much principal as if they had been in this loan for four and a half years and yet they had just started it. This was paid back in just 10 months, 9.6 months. I'm gonna round it up to 10 to be very conservative. So starting month 10 or month 11, we give another 20,000, which leapfrogs them down the amortization again. And we just follow this process month after month, cycle after cycle. So every 10 months, we're applying another 20,000 and it's getting paid back. They never lose any liquidity. They always have access to more money than they had in the first place because we opened that $20,000 together. They never had that 20,000 to begin with. So all we're doing is slicing this amortization into bits and pieces. And if we do this, you can see the loan calculator page here. Let me go ahead and share that with you. Hmm. One moment here, folks. I just want to make sure I get the right slide up for you. All 
All right, bear with me, folks. I'm going to get this for you. I'm determined. I want to show you this math because this is jaw-dropping information. All right, I'm going to just share the full screen here. You should be able to see the cash flow cruncher loan calculator page now. I'm going to just tab through these so you can see this gift. This is actually going to be in that spreadsheet that we give everybody. Make sure you pull out your smartphone, type in that website, uh, freesessioncalendar.com, and reserve your coaching session as soon as possible to make sure that you get the spot you want. And you will get this in a confirmation email that's sent to you following uh, the registration. You can see there is a cash flow summary page. This is Dan and Megan's post non-mortgage debts summary. This is after they paid off all their non-mortgage balances. You can see the cash flow position here. We actually rounded that down to be conservative as well. All of their income and expenses. You can see that there's a revenue and assets page. This is very easy to fill out, folks. It takes 30 minutes to an hour. And we'll use this during your free session. So you're going to want to have this completed. There are no, there's no confidential information in here. We don't have any account numbers, no social security numbers, just general information that we want to keep private and sensitive, but nothing that we could harm your, your financial picture with. Uh, personal expenses here, they just bundled everything together. I would recommend itemizing all this for your benefit. Uh, and here is the loan calculator page. You can see the numbers that we've been discussing here as far as this mortgage. We've got the $290,000, 5.2%. This is $283,000 in total interest. And in month number one, we applied how much? 20,000 from a debt weapon. But before we tab this in, I just wanna point out uh, everything that's wrong with the financial world. Take a look at this, folks. This is a, oh, give me a moment. Okay, this is the interest side and this is the principal side. In what is arguably one of the best rates in history, they're paying four to one interest to principal, four to one. And each month their principal increase, the contribution towards principal is only going up by about $1.50 per month, $1.47 to be exact. So in month number three, I'm gonna just put it uh, three months down here so you can see the leapfrog effect, okay? So watch closely. We've got 337 in principal, and that's gonna jump instead of the 340 in principle two months later, you can see that this extra contribution here leapfrogs them all the way to $426 in principle. So from 337 to 426, almost $90 instead of $3. Guys, do you know how much this has eliminated for them? $64,000 in interest has been prevented with this one move. 64,000. Four and a half years, 53 payments of this mortgage have been wiped out and we get to do this every 10 months. So I'm going to paste this from month three here down to month 13 here and do it again because this 20,000 is paid back, which means we get to borrow it again and through paycheck parking, it's paid back in 10 months again. You can see this brings them to almost $110,000 in interest. In two moves, we've uh, eliminated over six figures off of the price tag of this home. Guys, if I came to you and said, hey, I can sh show you how to get into real estate where every property you buy costs over $100,000 less than what you think you're gonna pay for it, would you buy more real estate? You bet you would. This is one of the most, uh, this is gonna be one of the biggest mistakes you make if you're not implementing these and you are following the bank's rules the way the bank wants you to. If I just go down two more moves, Two more cycles, you can see that I've already saved them over $165,000 off the price tag of this home. $165,000. Guys, take a look at um, the total that they would save if they follow this through to completion, which they're doing. But you have to remember, they're now buying real estate. So I'm proud to say last spring, Dan and Megan closed on their first three rentals, three doors, one duplex, one single family, and the combined net cash flow after all expenses, this is after the mortgage, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, after maintenance, after management, after uh, uh, vacancies being added in, they are cash flowing $1,700 a month between those three. So an average of about $530 on each door. It's, it's amazing to watch this happening. But this mortgage, their primary, instead of paying $283,000 in interest, they're on pace to pay just $72,500 in total interest costs. Look at the difference here, folks. Why in the world would you spend over $200,000 more than you have to without changing anything about your spending habits, without having to make any more money? That's just flushing money down the toilet and giving it to the banks for no good reason. That's called being a victim. What we wanna do 
is avoid 21 years or more of mortgage payments. And in Dan and Megan's case, they're going to have this primary residence paid off in roughly 8.5 years. And that's actually being reduced now because of their new cash flow from their rentals. So as you add new investments, new rentals, new cash flow, new streams of income to your already existing plan, everything speeds up in this case. Now, before we could get to that, we had to eliminate their non-mortgage and business related debts. This is why Megan was about to cry or, or, or burst into tears and why she was so emotional in my vehicle because three years ago or three years prior to them getting this mortgage, they had the same income, their credit scores were much worse, their cash flow was just 390 and they had almost $50,000 in non-mortgage related balances. This isn't that hard to do folks. They had two auto loans, one for about 20,000, one for about 15. They had three credit cards totaling roughly 14,400 in balances. This isn't that much compared to a lot of people. And most of this was for Dan's business. So as you get into business, if you are already an existing entrepreneur or you're just getting started, you'll realize it comes with certain expenses. So in this case, their borrowing strength was poor and they had only 97.50 in available debt weapons. When we attack this, I like to ask a group like you guys, how long you think it'll take them without a change of behavior to eliminate $50,000 in non-mortgage balances. Now, historically, people have usually agreed that it was impossible within 10 years and most likely it would never happen because the key phrase there is with a change of behavior. And obviously that wasn't where they were when we first met them. But when we started to change their, their habits, and we implemented new techniques using the same formulas, the same lump sum payments, paycheck parking process I just showed you on the mortgage. We had three cycles to pay this off. The first cycle took 12.7 months to pay back. The second cycle took 10.2 months to pay back. And the third cycle took just eight months, totaling 30.9 months, less than three years. And 100% of their non-mortgage debts were eliminated. This was a life changing event for this couple. Everything in their world became better. They were more present. They didn't feel the pressure. Anyway, 5950 was their same income three, three years later. No more debts, credit scores through the roof, average cash flow position almost five times better. Debt weapons now substantially more readily available than what they had and their borrowing strength is now strong, which allowed us to get access to substantially more. In fact, they have well over six figures today, I'm proud to say, which was used to buy those three rental properties with no money out of their own pocket. That's right, zero money out of pocket. We use the debt weapons as their down payment. We then turn our attention back to paycheck parking against those down payments and pay them off and then revert back to paying off their primary mortgage. This is exactly what you guys are going to get to do with this information, but you have to take the next step to do it. So how do you bet? How do you benefit from this? What is the next step? As I told you before, you've got to have at least $6,000 in annual passive discretionary income. We we call this cash flow. So $500 a month on average, you've got to have a mortgage now or plan to get at least one within the next 18 months. And you've got to have personality compatibility. If you're not courageous, if you're not willing to fight through fear, you're going to struggle in real estate. If you're not consistent and you're not willing to continue to do better for yourself, you're going to struggle in real estate and you certainly are going to struggle with this as well. You've also got to remember that what I'm showing you here may eliminate hundreds of thousands of dollars in unnecessary costs for you. In fact, it's mathematically guaranteed to work. Every single person in here would experience that result given an opportunity to take action on it, but it's, you've got to be patient. It's not, you know, it's not a, um, it's not a, a million dollar plan. We're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars over the next eight, nine, 10 years. So we might be talking 15 to $20,000 a year. If that's chump change for you, then this information is below you. You wouldn't benefit. But if it only took you two or three hours a month to get a better, plan totaling $20,000 a year, then most people find that to be a good use of time. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to use the free tool that we provided. That's the cash flow cruncher. When you register your free coaching session, it's 90 minutes in length. It's non solicitous. It's just there to analyze things you've been missing. And chances are you've never had experts that do what we do 
take a look at your plan to make sure it's optimized. So we're going to use that cash flow cruncher to accelerate your goals. We're going to look at your long-term objectives and reverse engineer what your starting point is and what some of your short-term steps need to be and which techniques you've been missing. With accountability and discipline, you cannot fail with this. Like I said, this is not speculation. I'm not saying, well, maybe you'll buy more properties or maybe you won't. If you already have a mortgage or you plan to get one, if you already have the cash flow, then there is no speculation. This will supercharge your plan. As I'd previously stated, your privacy is a top priority for us. It won't require you to share any dangerous financial information with us. For those of you that end up as good candidates for an ongoing relationship, the way we make our money, which most people are curious about, is through an accountability subscription. It's through a coaching platform. So we work with people one-on-one -on -one for a period of 30 months. Each person is receiving unlimited coaching sessions during that time. However, we do disqualify about two-thirds of people that we speak with. So please come in prepared to, to probably be disqualified. You are not, um, uh, you know, we're not doing that to offend anybody. We just want to make sure that we are really only working with people who are going to get extraordinary results. Now, if you do end up as a candidate who works with us, you are provided the homework assignments that you need to complete after each coaching session, and you will put the results on the right. So your coach just tells you exactly what you need to do in order to get what we're talking about tonight. If you have less than perfect credit, fear not. With our skills, we have the ability to manipulate credit scores better than anyone or as well as anyone in the country. This is donated free to students that are qualified to become coaching members. And, um, and that is a $1,500 value per person. So this is something that we offer at no charge. If you do end up working with us in order to fast, fast track your plan, it is tax deductible for entrepreneurs because your business coaching and your real estate investing coaching, it's all included for free. Uh, we're not interfering with any other real estate coaching you have. We're not investment experts. We are liability elimination experts. So we work in conjunction with any other coaching that you may be involved with. As I'd said, it's a 30 month relationship, unlimited sessions at 289 per month. We do offer rebates and discounts because of the relationship that we have uh, in Santa Cruz there with Mike, but I will say that there are even coaching members that get their coaching for free and there is also a refund guarantee. So we do not expect you to take on the risk in the relationship should a, uh, a vacancy be offered to you, which again, two thirds of the time is not going to be the case. Now, as a business owner, you also get free marketing as a member. This is uh, limited to availability, first come, first serve. Um, you can see here that uh, you'll get professionally produced videos, logo and business card design, professionally designed brochures, views, fans and followers, et cetera, from the social media side. We do guarantee all of the results from a satisfaction standpoint, which is why we have a perfect reputation. So this will be your only chance to get a free session with me, the president. All of my team has been with me for a long period of time, which means that regardless of who your session ends up being with, you're going to get tremendous value from it. Uh, certainly will be very, very uh, time, very well spent. This is a no sales, no pressure, personal game plan, phone coaching session. So it's all over the phone. And once you register, uh, I'm going to give you the link here again in one moment. Free classes about debt weapons will be sent to you. You'll have additional invitations to attend and learn more about specific debt weapons. All those classes are free. And you'll also get your free cash flow cruncher, which is that spreadsheet we've been referencing. So uh, like I said, of the first seven that reserve, uh, we're going to select four of uh, the ones that meet my calendar, my schedule will be completely random. Uh, so the, uh, I'm assuming that's already taken place. Normally these things fill up uh, well before this slide. Um, and I will do those sessions myself, but everybody that registers, as long as you've got the cash flow and at least one mortgage now or within 18 months, this will be a, a really good use of your time. Freesessioncalendar.com is the website. So visit that now if you haven't already and reserve your session. So I want to thank you guys over there in Santa Cruz. We're obviously only about six or seven hours drive away from here in the Palm Springs area. Uh, I, I very much appreciate your attention tonight and look forward to following up with Mike to make sure that everybody got what they expected from the training. Uh, we'll also provide you and Mike access to a, a link where you guys can, uh, can come back and visit this information time and time again online conveniently. So I'll get that over uh, to Mike soon and you guys, uh, I'll have him fire it over to the group. Uh, really appreciate your, your time and attention and uh, guys looking forward to dominating the banks with you in the near future. Make it a great night and a good week, okay? Thanks very much.